Welcome back with SIA's Artificial Intelligence Spotlight. SIA, the Software and Information Industry Association, is the principal trade association for software and digital content industry. So last week we took a look at a platform called AI Squared, which used artificial intelligence to predict cyber attacks. And this week we're going to take a look at a tool developed by Thomson Reuters, which uses machine learning to help journalists report breaking news faster than ever and more accurately. To provide some context to why Thomson Reuters would want to create such a tool, you have to look at the development of breaking news over time. So in the past, a lot of breaking news was reported via word of mouth, you know, calling a friend, calling a friend who you knew on the hill. But nowadays, more so than ever, social media channels like Twitter report breaking news faster than ever. So in today's age, a lot of journalists are often on trending topics on Twitter to try to find the, the latest breaking news story or, or the newest development in the White House. However, unfortunately for a lot of these journalists, it's incredibly difficult to sift through the over 500 million tweets sent each day, some of which may be just spam, advertising, or even fake news. And this is exactly why Thomson Reuters created this tool called News Tracer which uses artificial intelligence to determine whether trending topics are actually newsworthy or truthful. In other words, are these topics actually news, or are they fake news, ads, or spam? And so this, this tool kind of just demonstrates how AI can be transformative, not only in journalism, but in also f facilitating factual information in, in a world with just an abundance of information. What's great about the tool is it, is it not only required human input in its development, but it also requires human interpretation to decipher whether these tweets are actually newsworthy or not. So, you know, News Tracer can't write the news story, but it can help journalists sift through a mountain of information. So specifically, the News Tracer, as I mentioned, incorporates machine learning. And in essence, machine learning is the application of AI that gives machines access to data from which the machine can learn from. But before the machine has the ability to learn from the data, it re relies on some sort of human input. And in this case, what Thomson Reuters did was provide a lot of human input from, you know, numerous journalists from across the globe to assess whether the data that they were putting in was newsworthy or not. And from there, the machine, the tool was able to understand that and create algorithms that could mimic exactly how the journalists had responded to whether news was real, news was fake, whether it was spam or whether it was advertising. And so, you know, there have been other social media monitoring systems in the past, but the reason why News Tracer is so transformative is that it actually gives every trending topic a newsworthiness rating. So it's really tailored for journalists and reporters to find out exactly how worthy a breaking news story may be. And so after its introduction in 2015, it's been extremely efficient in detecting breaking news. And so generally... Using the tool it gets you ahead 8 to 60 minutes. And you might be thinking, oh, only 8 minutes ahead of time, like that's nothing. But getting a head start on this breaking news can not only be beneficial towards financial clients who really have to hear about breaking news, it can also be beneficial to those in danger. For example, Reuters was able to get a 15-minute head start and actually send out a news alert on the Chelsea bombing in New York. And so... You know, in this sense, the news tracer is not only helpful to journalists in, in main, attaining factual information, but also beneficial to individuals who might be nearby these breaking news stories that can be absolutely catastrophic. And sort of as we highlighted last week in our spotlight on AI Squared, you know, news tracer doesn't displace work, but it simply functions as a result of human input and requires human experience to interpret the algorithm. In this way, News Tracer is not only contributing to a greater social well-being, but it's also supplementing human work and experience, just like AI Squared had done in the previous episode. All right, and that's it for our episode today. I hope you enjoyed this take on Thomson Reuters' new tool to help journalists report breaking news just incredibly more efficiently. And we hope you tune in for our next Artificial Intelligence Spotlight.